Eunice Kennedy Shriver may be best remembered as a champion for the mentally and developmentally disabled and for founding the Special Olympics, which, as Alex just mentioned, now has more than one million athletes worldwide. And today we caught up with one Special Olympian from Rhode Island who got to meet Eunice Kennedy Shriver in person. Our in-depth coverage continues now from Special Olympic headquarters in Warwick with Eyewitness News reporter Nick Nuosu. Well, there have been more smiles than tears here at the Special Olympics headquarters of Rhode Island as athletes remember the woman who made them feel special. She's like a mother to all the Special Olympians over the world. Olympians like 49-year-old Henry Moretti, who's participated in the Games since 1972. I've done every sport in Special Olympics. Wow. Basketball, hockey, floor hockey, soccer, softball, I've done golf. And the Special Olympics have taken him all over the world, rubbing shoulders with celebrities and presidents. But it wouldn't have been possible without Eunice Kennedy Shriver, who began the Games in 1968 as a field day with 100 kids in her backyard. Now it's grown to more than 3 million participants worldwide. It's, it will never be a, a matched anywhere else. After getting word of Shriver's death this morning, condolences poured into Rhode Island Special Olympics headquarters in Warwick. But it was a day full of smiles, remembering the woman who spent her life as a champion for those with disabilities. I can never say thank you enough to Special Olympics, the places I've been and the, place, and the people I've met, because it's, it's something you will always remember, but something you'll never forget. And Henry is just one of 3,000 Special Olympians here in Rhode Island. And coming up new at 6, we talked to the father of two Special Olympians who had the opportunity to thank Shriver in person. With the West Bay Mobile Newsroom here in Warwick, I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News. Eunice Kennedy.